welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I have some Super Bowl injury updates for everybody. There's nothing new or breaking, but Joe Tani doesn't look like he's going to play. He's the all-pro guard for the Kansas City Chiefs, and the Chiefs are going to miss him a lot. George Kittle and Eric Armstead were both limited in practice. Kittle's dealing with a toe issue and Armstead is also dealing with a knee and a foot injury. It looks like both of those guys are going to play. So we'll see what happens as the game gets closer and closer, but it looks like they're going to play. And another injury that I think is going to really help the 49ers is the edge rusher Charles Omenyahu is out. He tore his ACL last week. He's done for the year. And he's really good at setting the edge and keeping the run game in between the tackles. The Kansas City Chiefs are really going to miss the seven sacks he brought to this defense that has held teams to around 17 points per game. So they're really going to miss him, especially because they're going against Christian McCaffrey and that very, very talented San Francisco 49ers offense. On the other side of the ball, Andy Reid told reporters that Joe Tunney has a slim chance of playing. They're really going to miss the All-Pro guard, considering the 49ers' defense has not been very good against the run. Nick Allegretti is going to replace Joe Tunney. He's not an All-Pro caliber guard, but he's a very good replacement He's a pretty good player, so are they going to miss Joe Tony? Of course they're going to miss him, but I still think they're going to be able to run the ball against this 49ers defense. Joe Tony suffered that injury versus the Buffalo Bills in the playoff games a few weeks ago, and they said the injury that he sustained typically lasts four to six weeks. It's been about three to four weeks. I don't think he's going to play in this game, but he might dress and if push comes to shove and Nick, his replacement, is not playing well, maybe he goes out there for a few snaps. Maybe a goal line snap will come out for. We'll have to see how Andy Reid potentially uses him in this game. But if we look at all the guys that are on the injury report, nothing too concerning. Rasheed Rice is dealing with some ankle issues, but he's going to play too. He was limited in practice this week. And backup running back Jarek McKinnon is dealing with a groin issue. He was limited in practice. But the bulk of the carries are going to go to Isaiah Pacheco, so that doesn't really matter. And obviously, Tunney, with that pectoral injury, he did not practice. He hasn't practiced in a few weeks. He's going to be a game-time decision. They're going to wake up Sunday morning, see how he's feeling. But there's not too many injuries we're worried about. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think these injuries that the Chiefs have sustained on each side of the ball, with Tunney on the offensive side and Omen Yahoo, the DN, on the defensive side of the ball. Do you think they're going to matter in this game? I think they might because Christian McCaffrey is really good at taking a handoff and bouncing it outside. And they also like to run those pitches where Brock Purdy's in shotgun and he just pitches it out to Christian McCaffrey and he runs for the edge. So the Chiefs are really going to have to do a good job setting the edge and keeping Christian McCaffrey contained and not letting him break outside. So we'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments below. Who are you rooting for in this game? Who do you think is going to win? I hope this injury report gave you some updates on your potential bets in this game. I do like the Chiefs getting like two, two and a half points. But with these injuries, man, if Christian McCaffrey has a good game, they could have a big big day. Look for Brock Purdy and the 49ers with Christian McCaffrey to try to establish a run. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace!